Hello, everybody. How's it going? Uh, we're back to play some more Minecraft. All right, let's just jump right into it. Let's just play a new world. I don't care. All right, you guys ready? Uh, survival. Uh, let's just go create a new world. I don't care. All right. All right here, here's the thing, guys. Uh-oh. Jeff's annoyed. Uh, no, not really. I'm not annoyed about anything, but I'm kind of mad at Jesus. I'll tell you why. Because I have to... I'm, I'm back doing the, these cold showers again. I, it's like, I, I, I don't mind doing them when I want to do them, but when Jesus makes me do them, it just turns it into like a forced thing. And it's like, I get it, you know, and everything, but all right, whatever. It's just annoying. All right. So I'm doing it and it's a pain, but it's, it's like, you know what? Um, it, it, and you know what it is, guys? I think a lot of the people who are, uh, who are not on the right side of things are doing this thing where they're like, well, I'm going to take a cold shower too. And then everyone's going to like, I'm going to, Thunderstrike people as well. It's like, no, 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 no. Look, you can't... It's not It's not the cold shower. It's the obedient. Do you see what I'm saying? It's It's not the cold shower. It's like, because I'm taking cold showers now and they're having no effect on me. You, like, it's it's just because Jesus is having me doing so many times. It, it doesn't really do anything. It's just like another... It's a drug, guys. The, doing the cold shower thing is a drug. 100%. It's a, you, you become tolerant to it and that's what's going on. And so it's just, I, I don't see a lot of purpose in it anymore. I, I just, I mean, the, the, or doing one in the morning and then, okay, that's fine. But like, dude, I'm, I'm on like my fifth one today. It's like, man, or sixth, I think sixth, actually sixth cold shower. It's like, all right. I mean, I just like, I know, look, this, this whole thing's almost over, and Jesus is gonna torture me again, guys, just to prove to you guys how awesome I am. You know what I mean? Like, and that's so annoying. I don't want to be awesome. I don't care. I don't, I don't want that. I just, I, I, I really, guys, I, I really have no pride with any of this. I don't want accolades. I don't want glory. I, here's what I want. I want to get left alone so I can go work on my drumming and record things. And it, like, I, this is so annoying. And I have to deal with my mom and my pat. And they're, 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 they're throwing a fit with this too now. It's I'm so annoyed with all this. It's so annoying. Pete's annoying. My mom's annoying. My aunt Pat's and everyone's annoying. Tyler, my next door neighbor is annoying. He's annoying. Everyone's annoying to me. I'm so annoyed with everybody. It's, you're so annoying. <laughs> we need to make sure, Jeff, before we uh, we contact Jeff, we need to make sure he's the perfect person. Hey, guys, I'm not perfect. I'm so not perfect. It's incredible. I'm a piece of garbage. You, you guys love this because you get to just keep me in this prison for eternity. Because I'm, I, I'm magically never going to meet your standards. Like, you know what I'm saying? Look, I, I got on this thing annoyed and I'm going to yell at you guys. Okay? That's what I do. Okay? So, the thing is, is honestly, guys, it's, it's, you know what? The, uh, the show is over, Jesus just said. The show is over. Okay? So, what that means is I'm not being anyone's entertainment monkey anymore. And, uh, I, I really hope that Jesus means that and isn't going to torture me all night with showers again. Please, Jesus, please don't do that. Okay, because some of you people are praying to him. And maybe you're right. Okay, because maybe I've been mean to you guys. All right, and I deserve a little bit of justice. Okay, I'll take it. That's fine. But I, I, what, I what I don't think is just is the way that you guys are treating me this gaslighting thing and you're not talking to me or zero indications of anything out there like you, you i i think i think the thing is is that um like even my mom you guys is on board with the gaslighting thing like the guys think about that for a second my mom who theoretically loves me and my aunt pat who theoretically loves me they're joining google they're joining uh you know, LinkedIn, uh, stay away from the executives, mom. Um, and they're joining, um, you know, all the other people they are joining Tyler, uh, joining him. We love Tyler. Tyler is great. Hey, Tyler, bad news. Uh, Jesus is going to make sure you, uh, you and Leah break up. I'm just letting you know, Jesus, uh, is, uh, he doesn't want you, uh, 
He doesn't want you with Leah. <laughs> and, he, and now he doesn't want Leah with me either. Uh, Leah's like, I don't want to be with anybody. I just want to, I just want to get out of here. I know, Leah, I'm sorry. But Leah is, uh, she is, she's awesome. And, and yes, she's beautiful. But that's not the, the reason I like her. The reason I like her is because, um, she's just a good-hearted person. And to be honest with you, Tyler, uh, with his conduct with all this, uh, is the last person that deserves to be with someone like that. Uh, that's just my opinion, but I, f I feel like Jesus ag agrees with me. Uh, Tyler, you, you've proven yourself to be the weakest of the weak. That's what Jesus said about you. You are the weakest of the weak. And you corrupted Pete. You encouraged him to do things that uh, he obviously is going to regret for the rest of eternity. I mean, Tyler, you, you are like, uh, you, you're, you, just, you, you and my dad are going to be great buddies. You're going to be great buddies. You, you are, both of you. you, you you're very similar. Because Tyler, you know, he'll be nice to your face, but he's a, he's just like a, a witchy woman behind your back. It's like, Tyler, that's not a compliment. <laughs> like, it's, I, I mean, I'm a woman, but uh, I don't try to uh, actively work against somebody who's just trying to help others get to heaven. You know what I mean? Like, that's, like, I just go get candles every once in a while, Tyler. You know what I mean? Look at me. I'm the first thing I pick up in Minecraft is a bunch of flowers. Like, that's what I mean. I'm a woman. I'm a half woman. But Tyler is trying to destroy me behind my back. Like, not even to my face. He doesn't even, he doesn't even, he doesn't have enough courage to talk to me to my face. I see him. I see his stupid face and that smug smirk that he has. Like, thinking that he's so smart. You know what I mean? It's Tyler. It's like, aren't you embarrassed? <laughs> like, aren't you? Like, you should be. You're not. It, okay. But it, it, like, it, it's just, look, man, I, guys, the show's over. I, I'm so sick of you guys. I'm so sick of this. I'm, I'm honestly, I'm sick of everybody. I'm sick of the, I, I'm just sick of your, um, it's, it's like you, I will, you know what I mean? Like we, we set this up, right? I, this was me being foolish back at trip actions, right? Okay. If I just prove to everybody that I'm a really good guy they'll, uh, we can all work together and then get my great grandma's books out to everybody. Uh, and it didn't work out like that because you guys, evidently I'm pretty talented and I'm pretty smart. I didn't realize this. You guys figured it out and now you're super jealous. So my plan failed because I'm too talented and too smart. That's what happened. <laughs> can, can you tell how mad I am, guys? I'm just being honest about that now because that's exactly what happened. <laughs> that's that's how mad I am right now. I'm just being honest about this. That's exactly what happened. I tried to do the right thing here, and it would have worked if I wasn't so talented or smart. And it's a thing. So I kind of I bit off more than I could chew because of that. I didn't realize you guys were going to be so jealous and so and, and try so hard to stop me from helping people get to heaven. Like I didn't realize that. I didn't realize humans were that. Uh, low level I, I i really didn't guys i'm so sorry i thought everyone was like me i know everyone's like jeff are you, are you kidding me we're all pieces of garbage we we, we we try to do things behind your back and we think we're smart we think we're cla like thank you guys for telling me that now you should have told me that a year ago i wouldn't have even done any of this and pete you would have still been at your uh you, you would have pete i would have left you alone and uh your car would have had a few less miles on it your volvo i wouldn't have driven it around at all and my dad would have never tried to uh, send me to the mental hospital and the cops wouldn't have showed up and pretend that they are, you know, on your side. But really, they don't really care. They just love dads that much. They really love dads, even dads that molest their own children, right? They're police. OK, whatever. Uh, OK, so. Um, all right. So what do we do here, guys? Well, I'm done. I can tell you that right now. All right. I'll, I'm going to be working on uh, my drumming, I guess. Um. But something tells me that Jesus is like going to do something pretty drastic pretty soon when it comes to me. I think, I think, um, cause I just took a cold shower. It was literally the last thing I wanted to do. Like Jesus has been making it pretty easy for me, but, uh, oh shoot. Hold on. Oh, it doesn't matter. Who cares about the stupid sound? It's not recording, but okay. Look, so here's the thing guys is that. I, I'm, I, I, I'm, if I take, if I, if I go down this road again, you know, where I just 
take a million cold showers. I'm going to resent Jesus too much. And I, I, I just don't know if I'm ever going to recover this time. I, I, I forgave him the first time. Right? I forgave, you know what I mean? I don't mean to say forgave him, but I, 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 I got over it. I should say. I should say I got over the trauma the first time, but if I if we keep up with these involuntary cold showers and it's just never gonna end, I can always I can always already tell I know how these work. <laughs> it starts off with you know, I doing a couple and a little okay Jeff Jeff just do one more one more cold shower just do one more just Jeff this is your last one I promise promise this is it your last cold shower and then uh, another two hours later Jeff we just need one more out of you just one more cold shower hey, guys. No more. Done. I'm done with all of it. Okay? I, I don't care if I send all you guys to hell by, by being disobedient. I'm done with the cold showers. And if Jesus doesn't agree with that, then, then Jesus, I elect to get sent to hell. But I don't think he's going to do that. I think he has... Uh, I think he, he views me in, in a, at a higher regard than that. But he let me tell you who he doesn't uh, regard very highly, and that's Tyler. He, Tyler is just, I, it's just a, a sack of garbage. That guy, he just, it just, it's just his. I, I, it's that smirk. I, it's, it's that smirk that the, this, the way he looks at you, like, like just. I, I know what he's thinking, Tyler. I know what you think. Like you, you don't realize it, but I, I can look at you and know exactly what you're thinking. I, I know exactly what goes through your mind, and every time you talk to me, it's, haha, this guy thinks that nothing's going on behind the scenes like Tyler you you are taking glee in the fact that you're like a, a complete and total coward gaslighting somebody and you're taking like pride in it it's not hard to do what you're doing it, to me it's not challenging it's you just you you're just you were given this gift uh where I'm just sitting here like a sitting duck waiting for you guys to do something and you're taking it what what is wrong with people? What is with the guys out here in Silicon Valley? What's with them? What is that? What's with the men out here in Silicon Valley? What is that, guys? Can you explain that? I don't know. I don't know. Elon, same thing. Ariel, to just the cowardice, and then the fact that you, and Ariel was more cowardice, but he wasn't. He didn't mess with you, Elon messed with me and he's a coward <laughs> Tyler messed with me and he's a coward like Pete messed with me but Pete's not a coward that's why I still respect Pete with all this I don't know why but Tyler I just have no respect for zero the guy Leah get away from this guy what are you doing she's planning on it I know she's planning on it get get out of there Leah this guy is a piece of garbage Tyler, if I ever see you again, I'm not keeping my mouth shut. I'm just letting you know. All right, I'm going to be up front with you. I am, Tyler, if I ever see your face again, something tells me I'm never going to see it again. But if I ever do, I, I'm just going to roast you in person and good luck. Okay? I'm not in a good mood anymore. I'm not pretending we're doing this gas, this uh, plausible deniability thing. I'm not playing along anymore. Period. Tyler, you're in trouble, buddy. And I'm going to roast you. And I'm going to roast you. And then I'm going to come on here and t tell everybody how awesome and hilarious it was. Tyler, you better not catch me when I'm high. You better not catch me when, I'm, when I've been smoking. You better not. You better not. Because, boy, are you going to hear it. And, boy, are you going to regret it. So, look. Oh, man. It's going to be... Oh, I got, I'm, can I just tell you how excited I am for, to see Tyler in person? And if Leah's there, it's going to be even funnier. Tyler, I'll be even m more mean to you if Leah's there. And I'm just kidding. No, I won't. But, uh, but it will be extra awkward. <laughs> That's for sure. So Tyler, uh, enjoy that. Uh, I hope you enjoyed the brownies. I made them brownies. I, I made Tyler brownies. Oh yeah, uh, well not, not Tyler. I made I made Leah brownies. And so Leah, you know, y yes, uh, Leah says thank you. You're welcome, Leah. Anyways, okay. Well, that was that. I died. But look, okay. So I so look. I'm sick of everybody. 
I'm sick of everybody except for Pete. I don't know what the heck it is. I, I Because Pete was the only one who had enough sack to actually come in here and mess with me. Okay? He was the one that made it made me realize that that oven is pizza capable. It's hot enough to be able to cook a really good pizza, but I haven't... I tried to make a pizza tonight, guys. Like, I got it in the ballpark, but it just tasted awful. Like, the, the it's just... I, like, I could do it. The oven is good for pizzas. It's just... But the way I did it, not good enough. So we'll we'll do it again. But anyways, uh, Tyler, I, I, you you make me sick. You like you make me sick, dude. I I don't know. It, like, que like it, sick in a way. Like I'm embarrassed for you. It, it, and it's not a, That's not what you want. You don't want someone to feel embarrassed for you. It, you don't want that. It's because it's it's the most it's that's what humiliation is is knowing other people feel embarrassed for you. That's the worst. It's, it's the worst. <laughs> and Tyler, I have to tell you, I feel embarrassed for you, and I love you to death. I mean, I do. Of course, I mean I have to, right? But I mean, if I had a choice, I'm not so sure I would. And I know you're going to say, but Jeff, I gave you a cable. Hey, Tyler, that's not, it's it, it, just like my dad with the 60 bucks, uh, giving me a, you know, a universal AC power cord to plug in the, to the back of my tube tech, uh, is not, I mean, I, okay, thanks. But, uh, it, you, you know what I mean? Like, by the way, guys, it, it, he had to move heaven on earth to be okay with handing it to me for free. Like, he had to, like, I mean, guys, it took a lot. But he realized that strategy, right, Tyler? I have to uh, make Jeff think, right? We love that, right there, project managers? That's right, he is a project manager, right? So he loves that. Um, yeah, we have to make Jeff think that, uh, that uh, I am friends with him. I have to make him think that I'm his friend. So I'm going to give him this cable for free. And, you know, I, I, then I go ask him for, like, the couches. Which, by the way, the couches, Tyler's couches are just sitting in the garage. Just sitting there. Oh, they're, they're, they're for sale. They're, they're selling them. Okay, Tyler, you're selling them, huh? Well, I could use it. Uh, Tyler, how much would you like for it? 200 bucks, Jeff. Hey, Tyler, it's not worth 200 bucks. Those couches are not worth 200 Get the F away from me. I'm so sick of these freaking zombies. Get the hell away from me. These freaking zombies. All right, look. I, 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 seriously, like, like, it, it, okay, it, it's like Tyler, yeah, he, like, it, he's mad because he had some, guys, he had some quote-unquote concerns about me. It's like, of course he had concerns. He's a project manager. He's looking for attention. That's all they do. Because what do they do? They don't do anything, right? Tyler doesn't do anything. He does nothing at his job. It's a, first of all, it's a has-been search engine company. Ask Jeeves. It doesn't even... What do you guys do? Who goes there? Nobody goes to AskJeeves.com. No, nobody. Uh-oh. Get out of there. He's going to explode. You know what? I want to die. Go ahead, buddy. Go do it. Good. Hit the ground too hard. Yeah, yeah. All right. You know what? That's what I mean. It's... it's so... It, look, guys. It, it's just... Tyler doesn't do anything at his job. He knows he's useless, so he, well, he found a use uh, when it came to me. Oh, good. Somebody I can just easily, uh, you know, easily. Uh, all right, you know what? I'm turning creative mode, I guys. I'm not fighting these things. I want to, I want to yell. I want to yell at Tyler and not, not have to worry about skeletons with their, with their archery. All right, thank you. All right, look. It, it, Tyler, I'm more mad at you than anybody else. I'm gonna be real honest with you. Just because the just the 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 um the sliminess of what you did, just how you pretended to be my friend. Oh, I need to make him think. I need to make I need to make Jeff think I'm his friend. How many times have you said that in your own head? How many times did you say that over the course of the summer? I need to make Jeff think this, that, that, that. Oh my goodness, Tyler, you're a piece of garbage. You, 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 uh, uh, Leah, uh, Leah, how, how, zero attraction, zero attraction to Tyler. She's only with him because of the house and the location <laughs> and that, the, I mean, 
pretty much, Leah just said. Pretty much. Yeah, I know. Pretty much, of course. Tyler knows that. Tyler knows that Leah isn't that attracted to him. And, uh, well, he acts accordingly towards me. So, thank you. That's what we want here on this planet. Not this one. Not the one we're, not Minecraft planet, but this one. The one I'm trying to escape from by playing Minecraft. Oh my goodness. Um, so Tyler, I don't know. What are we going to do? Uh, but I, could do, I don't know what we're going to do, but I, the la that's the last time I'm ever baking brownies for Tyler. I'll bake more brownies for Leah, but not Tyler. And by the way, yeah, Leah, the, no, I'm not, not, we're not doing, oh, what, a parrot? What the heck? What is that? Okay. I've never seen that before, but that's cool. Okay, anyways. Um... Is that, is that a joke to, for Tyler? Is that because he's a parrot? He doesn't have any he doesn't have any opinion of his own. He just kind of repeats what other people say. Is that what it is? Is that is 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 that right? He doesn't have any internal thought or anything. He just kind of because Tyler. I don't mean to make fun of you, but you told me about your app idea. Is this too mean? Yeah. Okay. Let's not be let's not be mean. Let's not be mean. But I but but what I will say is that. Um, it was one of the worst ideas I've ever heard. Okay. I mean, I'm just being honest with you. Your your restaurant idea. It's like, okay, but I, I don't know how many people are gonna honestly type in what they just ordered just to log it in the in your system. Like, why would they do that? Like it's what I mean. It doesn't like Grubhub already has all that information, Tyler. It's not a useful app. I'm sorry. Uh that's okay. That's all right. Hey, in investors, uh, Investors are far more likely to invest in that than they are in my app, so joke's on me, I guess. <laughs> okay, whatever. Uh, so, all right. Uh, so, what do we do, Tyler? I don't know. The answer is, is uh, I don't really care. The answer is, is I don't really care because nothing's going to happen. Tyler is, uh, I don't know. Jesus seems to have an affinity for Tyler because, oh, no, I'm just kidding. No, no, no. But Tyler, look, 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 look. All right, you're you're not gonna be you're not gonna come out a winner in this. Just letting you know. All right, you're not. You already haven't. Okay, but but it's gonna get worse for you. I'm just letting you know. All right. So I, I love you and everything, but uh, you know what? Here's the thing: is that uh, being a good neighbor, it's more about it's not just doing the right stuff. Okay, it you gotta have a good heart as well. Like a lot of these guys and still so, out here. They're awful, horrid human beings, uh, right? But uh, you guys do everything right on the surface, right? You know what I mean? I, I you helped me out a couple times, Tyler, right? You, you came up when uh, I asked you to help me back my car into the garage, right? Remember that? Um, I mean, I'm, I'm sure the only reason you did it was just to gather information about me, right, Tyler? Right? Right? Am I right? Yes, Jeff, you're right. I am right, aren't I? The only right you you jumped at that opportunity so you could gather more information about me. That's what these people do, guys. Tyler is a project manager. He doesn't do anything. He doesn't know how to do anything. He doesn't do anything. That's what he does all day. It's just judge other people and have quote unquote concerns about other people. Like it's like, Tyler, I have a concern about you and the fact that you don't do anything. That's my concern. I like that. I have a concern about your concern, and, and your your concern is invalid because my concern is that you're not doing anything, and you're just, you're just waiting for me to mess up so you can have more concerns. It's like, well, okay, that's not a job, <laughs> okay? It's not it's not a job anyone should have because it just all it does is just ramp up pride. Oh, I'm awesome. I have a special perception. I can I know everything about human nature, right, Tyler? You know everything about human nature. That's why you're a great project manager. <laughs> right, Tyler? Okay. Okay. But then if you're so good at human nature, why did you why did you how did you get me so wrong? Huh? How did that happen? All right, Tyler. We'll we'll leave you alone. <laughs> let's let's not be too mean. Um all right, whatever. Uh look, guys, I don't care. Let's not talk about Tyler anymore, right? The guy's the scum of the earth. Who cares, right? All right, anyway, anyway, guys. All right, so let's, uh, I'll tell you what. Let's slip into creative mode. 
All right, let's go ahead and turn it on. And uh, let's just go ahead and do some flying, shall we? Oh, I'll tell you what. Hold on. Hold on there, guys. I always do this thing where I kind of, you know, I, I, I start off with... It's just like drugs, guys. You start off with, you know what? Let's just go into peaceful mode. Let's make it a little easier. And then, of course, you go, okay, it's still not easy enough. Let's turn on creative mode, and then you're able to fly, and then you you, you get bored because it's not hard anymore. That's what happens every time. But I'll tell you what. Here's what we got to do. We got to punch some wood. Okay, hold up. All right, guys, hold on a second. Hold up. You know what we got to do? We gotta switch the audio. I'm, I'm tired of this. Okay. Can we, please? Where's my, where's my, uh... Alright, you know what, guys? I think we're gonna end the recording here. I'm done. Alright, that's all that needs to be said. I don't want to play any more Minecraft, to be totally honest with you. It's just not my, it's just not my thing. But here's the thing. Is... Um, honestly, I just, I'm, uh, disgusted with Tyler... Probably more than anyone else. Just because of the arrogance. Uh, he, right? Talking directly to my face, but in the back of his head, he's thinking things like, haha, I can't believe Jeff thinks that I'm his friend. Or, haha, I can't believe, you know, this is great. I get to do and say whatever I want behind Jeff's back and he'll never find out. Haha, I have Jeff fooled and... Uh, I'm, I feel powerful. Like, that's the things that are going through Tyler's head, guys. Like, isn't that weird? He think he's trying to talk to me. Like, guy, like all I'm doing is working at trying to polish my car. <laughs> and those are the things that are going on as, in his head as he's talking to me. Like, isn't that weird? It's weird, right? Okay, Tyler, that does sound weird when I say it like this. It does, yes. It does, Jeff. It does, yes. And I'm going to change. And I'm never going to do this thing ever again. And I'm going to get a job where I do stuff. Tyler's like, well, Jeff, at least I have a job. Yeah, but at least I I have a job where I'm actually doing something that's not working at a has-been search engine. <laughs> And they had to change the name because Ask G's was was to 1990s. They had to change it. <laughs> okay. Uh. Anyways, guys, you see you see what these people do. You see what they do. And uh, we're uh, honestly, I I just look. I, I the truth is the truth is is I don't care. You want to know the truth? I the, that's the truth. I don't care. But Jesus uh, put me in a bad mood, and this is why. So I could talk to, talk, so I could talk to Raffaella and all her buddies. And uh, <laughs> I, I, you know what I would say. You know what I would say. All right, screw it. Let's just okay. I, I would say that I think Raffaella is gonna make it. She will. Is she embarrassed? Yes, you betcha. <laughs> yes, she is. Uh, but I think she's gonna make it. Tyler. Uh, he's pretty... Because first of all, he knows Leah is too attractive for him. She, she, he knows that. Leah, Leah does too. <laughs> I'm being so brutal. I know. <laughs> well, Tyler, this is what you get. See, Leah knows this as well. She's not attracted to him. Uh, she knows that. I know that. He knows that. So, th that's what's setting this off. That's what's preventing his spiritual growth is Leah. Because... Leah knows she doesn't want to be with him. Tyler knows she doesn't want to be with him. She knows. He knows. Everyone knows. So Tyler's bitter about this, and I feel like that's a blocker. Tyler, you know all about blockers. He, Tyler loves uh, project managers. They love blockers, and then the word blocker, they love it. They love blockers, and they love saying end of day and ETA and all that jargon, all the garbage out there. Project managers love these these things, guys. And Tyler, Tyler, let me yeah, let me speak your language. Leah is a blocker to your to your spiritual growth because you you know you're too 
you're you're just you're too you're too squirrely to be with a girl like that. She can get basically any guy, and she, well, I'm not trying to be rude, but she mistakenly chose you. I, uh, boy, this is gonna be awkward when I see you in person, huh? Can't wait, Leah. I love you though. All right. Yes, I'm attracted to you, but it it would be inappropriate if we were to ever date. I mean, you wouldn't anyway. But I mean, the point. Is, yeah, like I'm not her type, but but the point is is. You shouldn't be with Tyler. She knows. <laughs> okay. It's to anyone else. Uh, and uh, let me tell you something, uh, Leah. Good news is you're going to find a husband, a real one. And uh, you, uh, he's going to be more more handsome than I am. He's going to be better looking and, and way better looking than Tyler, but more handsome than I am. All right. And that's not hard to do. But, he, but still, he's going to be way better looking than Tyler. So that's good news. All right. So, but but the point is, is that you uh, deserve that. We just got to cool it with a drinking, Leah. That, that's the only thing. All right, I'll tell you what. Leah and I will hang out. We'll be friends, but that's where it ends. All right, Leah? All right, but we just got to... All right, because Jesus said he loves you and he wants you in heaven. Like, you, Leah, Jesus said that you're personally his. That's what he said. Okay? And he'll get you a husband that's even... Like, he'll... Right? Leah deserves that. She is a great person and uh again I'm, I'm disgusted that she's with tyler i i I'm, I'm sorry and i i know that's like out of bounds i understand that guys to say something like that but i'm looking at tyler's conduct throughout this and i'm like whoa uh first of all leah i mean what is she thinking about i mean she's disgusted by this but she can't say anything because he, he, he tyler's a meal ticket you know what i mean he knows that man what a what a messed up relationship that is, huh? Nobody loves each other. It's just a, a a business transaction, essentially. Like, let's get better out there about that stuff, guys, right? All right, and I also have a feeling that, uh, you know, a lot of the people that were giving me a hard time, you know, about about everything and coughing, right, guys? Uh, <laughs> by the way, uh, any if I hear any more coughing... Uh, I, I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna drink an entire bottle of cough medicine and uh, I'm gonna trip start tripping and then basically I'm gonna do a Minecraft episode and just look out, okay? If I hear any more coughing, okay? Um, and and so anyways, um, I know that's it's Jeff. That sounds like a very self destructive or so. I know, but I just think it'll be funny. I know I just shouldn't have said that because now. Now these people are going to start coughing again. I know. <laughs> Ooh, that'd be really funny. Jeff will probably embarrass himself. Let's start coughing again. And then they'll start doing it. Guys, these are adults. Can you believe that? Like having those internal thoughts and they talk to each other. Like, guys, these are the adults in this neighborhood. The adults in this neighborhood. Isn't that nuts, guys? But it's not, because you think about it, it's like, why are they in this neighborhood in the first place? This, like, upscale, you know, it's like a Silicon Valley, but upscale Silicon Valley. So, um, so it's a double douche, like, d double, sorry, I shouldn't have said that, but, but, um, sorry, I know, sorry, Jesus, uh, no, he's gonna deduct points, I know, okay, sorry, but, but, the, but, the, but the thing is, is that, you know, it's like, a, a lot of there's a lot of CEOs here, a lot of financial uh, executives. Fine, uh, something with financial, something with ex executive. I was an an executive. Uh, yeah. What did you do? What What did you do as an executive? Oh, pfft, uh, many things. I played golf. I rode in private jets. I uh counted uh you know i i gave you know i i made sure that i got the maximum uh number of shares where i could just sit back and wait for all the other people to do the work and then sort of just wait for it right i set myself up to make sure that i <laughs> i set myself up to make sure that i get rewarded the most for doing the least it's i mean i it's what a wow wow now that is what I'm talking about. Okay? That is what we want in our in our world. People who can't wait to get the most by doing the least. I know, I mean, we're all like that, but I mean, you know what? Um
Tyler is a beautiful example of somebody who uh, literally thinks that they're, I mean, Tyler, what's that? You think you're the, do you think, Tyler, what, what, what's, Tyler, he must, right? He thinks he's, he must, he must actually believe based on his actions, based on his actions. I don't know what he would say if we asked him this question, but based on his actions, he must truly think that he is the smartest person on the planet. Tyler, am I wrong? Leah, Leah just goes, yeah, I know. I know, but Leah, based on his actions, it's obvious. He thinks he's the smartest person in the world. Right? Because wasn't that the claim about me? Right? Oh, Jeff thinks he's the smartest person in the world. Uh, if anyone uh, wants to... Uh, See if they can be a contender and uh, try to challenge Jeff. Uh, step right up. And Tyler took the bait. Foolishly. So obviously the guy thinks he's the smartest person in the world. Obviously. And uh, yeah, pretty embarrassing, huh? Leah, we sure? We, I know. She's she's uh, <laughs> like, Leah, let me just put it this way. I parked next to you. Uh, I, I pulled my car into the driveway. Next to your car. I'm keeping it. I'm keeping that that spot. I'm taking my spot back in the driveway. I'm not giving it to Tyler. No way. I need access to that garage. So Leah, it's you and me. Tyler, I don't know. He's not he's not gonna be brave enough to come back here, that's for sure. But Leah, you and I'll hang out and let's smoke weed. All right, but Leah, we just gotta we gotta chill out with the drinking. Like I'm not gonna drink. But you and I'll hang out, we'll smoke weed, and we'll talk about how awesome God is. All right. Because Leah, it would, I, we, we, Leah and I would have great conversations while we were high. I can tell you that right now. And Leah, I am being serious. Like we, I, I would just consider you a friend. All right. That yeah, I'm attracted to, but I it's just, it's just not. I, I, I can't. It would be, it's, it would be low brow of me to, 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 you know, make it so you break up with Tyler, uh, and then, um, you know, it, it, swoop in. I would never do that. I just, I, I want to find a girl who, who is single when I meet her. No, I mean, nothing personally. It's just like, it's just, yeah, it's just, but but that's just the best course of action. Oh, another portal to hell down there. Oh, oh good. Um, and, okay. So I think, I think that's what, uh, I think Leah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. So, um, or not do, I mean, I'm not going to do that. So don't worry about it. Don't worry about that. Okay. You know, I, I'm not, I'm not looking to date you or anything like that, but I would really like to be friends with you. Without Tyler. Without Tyler there. <laughs> Thank you. Okay? Without Tyler ruining it, like throwing another wet blanket just like he does at work. Like, okay, Tyler, uh, look, we, we have this really awesome idea um, and we, we really want to implement it. But Tyler's there go, putting on the brakes, right, guys? That's what those are project managers do. Hold on, guys. We need to make sure before we start these features, we need to make sure it's in the budget. I need to, we, we, I need to talk to my superior. And like, of course. Like, hold on, guys. Hold on. Let's put the brakes on. Okay, thank you, project manager. Another project manager preventing innovation. What a shock. What a shock. He needs to check the budget first. Hold on. Before we start this project, we need to make sure we need to approve it with management. I need to approve it. I need to approve it with management. Okay, Tyler, you go do that. Tyler, instead of appro approving anything with management, why don't you just learn to code? I thought you were the smartest person in the world. So learn to code. If you're the Tyler, yes, you're the smartest person in the world. Cool. That means you can code. But guys, he thinks he's too smart to need to do that. Do you see? Do you see? Do you see that? See what the devil does? Do you see how the devil? Do you see what he does to people, guys? Tyler has convinced himself that he is too smart to to be a coder. <laughs> It's it's a lot of these a lot of project managers like this and uh it's like uh yeah yeah or or you're not smart enough to be a coder and you don't want to uh you don't want to feel the shame when you're on you know YouTube trying to figure out how to do a website <laughs> you know what I mean like a try to figure out HTML a guy you everyone's laughing cuz HTML is not hard but Tyler, I feel like, would have a hard time with it. <laughs> uh, anyways, okay. So, 
Yeah, I mean, look, here's what I would say, is that I'm going to be nice to Tyler. Well, hold on a second. Am I going to be nice to Tyler? Uh, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Those days are over. Tyler, I'm done pretending to be nice to you. Where I'm, I'm done. All right. So I'm warning you via podcast, via uh, live Minecraft uh, stream that next time I see you, it's open season and I'm bringing everything up. And I have a feeling that is a, has a lot to do with the reason you're not here right now. Leah, how attra- how much more how much <laughs> Leah <laughs> Leah, let me ask you a question. How much more attracted to, to Tyler were you when he said that you and you and him needed to leave the second that uh I, I called out Raffaella? How more how much more attracted to Tyler were you when he when he said that we need to we need to leave and never come back again? <laughs> I know that's so mean, but Leah's laughing. I know, I know, I know, I know. Oh boy, this, guys, this is like my most brutal takedown, isn't it? It's so brutal. It's like, ouch. I'm I'm hurt by this. I don't want to do this, but I'm so mad at the guy for for you know ma- taking what I'm trying to do and like having a bunch of concerns like like oh i'm concerned it's like no you're not tyler you're jealous that's what it is he's not concerned about anything he's jealous concerned <laughs> guys did i say this that like, having concerns about other adults is the adult version of tattletaling tyler I, you know what i mean like tyler's concern for me it sounds an awful lot like a 3 year old trying to get another 3 year old in trouble but they have to make it sound professional. So we replaced it with the word, I have concerns. <laughs> All right. Whatever, guys. No, not whatever. I'm just warning Tyler. I just can't wait to see him again. <laughs> I'm going to ask him how the frozen brownies were. I'm going to say thank you for the universal AC power adapter cord thing. And then I'm going to roast him for everything he uh, was doing over the summer. Uh, I'm going to tell him to say hi to Pete, uh, and I'm going to ask Pete, I'm going to ask Tyler how Pete's car is doing. I'm, I'm, I hope that thing's still running. Still, fuel's still burning, Pete. Fuel's still, unburned fuel still, Pete. <laughs> Where's Pete? Pete, I love you. Still, still more Pete, more unburnt fuel. See, now Pete's laughing about that joke. Thank you. See, Pete, I know. I miss Pete. I love Pete. See, Pete, Tyler's your fake friend. I'm your real friend. Tyler is a piece of garbage who's with the devil, and he thinks that um, he thinks that project managing is a real job. It's like, no, Tyler, I project manage things. Like, I'm managing my project right now I mean, on my Minecraft. I, I don't need anybody else. I just, okay, what, I have step one, I have to go do this, and then step two, do this, and then, oh, I have to call this person and get this all set up. But, but, uh... I don't need a I don't need a, a second hand for that. No, th- I like no thanks because they're gonna have too many concerns. I don't have time for that. You know, you know what I mean. So it's uh <laughs> okay, hey, guys. Am I being mean to Tyler? The answer is yes, but I guess the second question I have is, am I being too mean to Tyler? Uh, well, Tyler says yes. But Leah says no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Leah says, Leah says H no, like heck no. Like she says something else. But Leah said, Leah is disgusted with Tyler. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. No, no, no. That's women are pretty. They're, they're, they're brutal, man. I, I had a couple of them who were disgusted with me and look, look at what they did. Leah, I'm impressed with her because she's not walking out. She's not actively trying to find some other guy she's just with the guy she's with tyler even though she's unhappy i respect that i do all right that's a woman man that right there is a woman all right that's why jesus loves leah so much that's why i love her so much and uh yeah she's awesome all right and and uh what i would say is Tyler, I would pack your bags and maybe you can get a Bumble profile or something and maybe there's some girl who d- 
didn't hear about this and maybe you can join Elon and you, you know what I mean? Like the poor guy. I mean, it's, it's, it's a, it's a bummer, right? Like your legacy is trashed, Tyler, and there's kind of no way for you to turn it around. I mean, there is, but you're not going to do it because I was going to say you have too many concerns about me, but, but I already used that joke and that's not funny anymore, but I'm, I'm serious. Because you're, you're, I mean, you're not gonna, right? You're not taking me seriously. You're not taking my great grandmother seriously. This is serious. It's the future of the planet, guys. This, I'm, this whole Jesus is gonna shut this down, guys, and then the apocalypse starts. The, the, all the tribulation stuff. It happened all because of me and the fact that I just took a cold shower. Actually, uh, so you're welcome, everybody. Sorry about the destruction. But look, the thing is, is that we'll get through it. But Tyler's gonna be one of the people who doesn't make it, and he's gonna be stuck on the planet. Uh, well, I was gonna say, uh, hold on, let me think for a second, cause I, cause I'm thinking about Tyler, like what, how, how is he gonna react to the uh, Antichrist? Cause I gotta be honest with you guys, this uh, AI thing, it's uh, it 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 does it it's uh starting to 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 ring some bells of like, remember how know how the Bible and Revelations, you, you know how it talks about the beast and how everyone worships this beast and it's it's like it, 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 right it's i we we all seem to think that the antichrist is going to be a guy like a like a physical human but guys the devil is um he's not that brave he's kind of a, he's a super coward and he works in the dark just like tyler and it works behind everyone's back and he thinks he's tough and he thinks he's he's you know what I mean? Like it's it's he's not, and uh, nobody's telling him. And the thing is, is um, he, he he's so so. What I mean is is it, I don't think it's gonna be a guy because that would take bravery. You know what I mean? So like like meaning like being the pl king of the planet, like the Antichrist is gonna come on the scene, and they no. I think I think it's gonna be the devils working through AI to make it so everyone worships the ai like or, like you know how everyone's saying like oh it'll have the solutions to everything it's like yeah ai seems to have the solution to everything ai uh alexa tell me how to solve all the world's problems oh uh, do this da, da, da. like because it, it, it said it said that the bible says that the world the this world leader is going to have the, I, I might be wrong. I actually may be wrong on this one because I'm thinking about it. Like, because no, it, it, the the Antichrist is gonna he's going to rebuild the Jewish temple, the third, I guess, the third Jewish temple in Israel. Um, and I don't think you guys would listen to a computer, <laughs> you know, like if it's like, oh, Alexa, should I rebuild the Jewish temple? Yes, rebuild the Jewish temple. Okay, guys, we have to rebuild the Jewish temple. Like, you guys won't listen to a robot. That's true. Okay, so it probably is a guy. Okay, never mind. So forget what I'm saying. But I I, I thought I would. you would think it, that maybe it could possibly be AI that everyone worships. Um, I don't know. Uh, I, so I don't know. Who, who knows? But anyways... Um, Just trying to think. I don't know. I'm just trying to think. I, I don't know. Whatever, Tyler. You're 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 a scumbag. <laughs> that's, all, that's all I have to say. I don't know. It, it's fine. You know what it is, guy. You you know what you know what Tyler is. Do you, do you know what he is? You, do, it, Tyler is a guy who probably got picked on in high school. And there's a, an element of this with Pete as well. And this is why Pete makes it makes me sad because I know why Pete acted the way he did. Um, Pete's not a scumbag, though. Like, Pete's not a scumbag. Pete is the most upfront, awesome guy I know. That's what I'm talking about. Like, I, that's why I love Pete. I don't care. I'm, I, I love how he came in here and messed with me. And when no one else had the bravery. And I also love even more how Pete stopped when he realized that I had good intentions with everything. I mean, Pete, that took, uh... I mean, nads of steel, Pete. I'm super impressed with you for doing that. For not doubling down like Tyler did. 
and you, you actually stopped and you're like, oh, okay, Jeff's like serious about it, about this. And, he, and he's not joking around. He actually genuinely cares about everybody. Yeah, I do. And I, I really appreciate that Pete turned that around. That's why Hawaii, that's why Jesus put me through everything I went through in Hawaii, Pete. It was for you. And I'm so happy about it. It was worth it. Pete, if you come out of this and, you know, and I see it in heaven or, or however it's going to work, man, eh, 100% worth it. 1,000% worth it. All right? So there, there, there is a success story throughout all this. I'm not just mad at all you guys, like, indiscriminately. I'm proud of Pete, for goodness sake, even though he joined um, Tyler and, and messing with me. But Tyler didn't have the same attitude uh, after Hawaii. <laughs> Right, Tyler? We were like, oh, Tyler's Tyler's thought was, oh, shoot, I don't have, uh, I, I don't, Pete's not going to be able to help me uh, mess with Jeff anymore. Oh, that's a bummer. That was that was Tyler's attitude. But I, I do feel that Tyler was a guy who got picked on in high school. So they're looking at me, or, or Tyler's looking at me as a guy who reminds him of that. I, hey, Tyler, I was picked on in high school, too. But I'm dealing with it in a much healthier way than you are. I'm just, you can tell, guys, I'm making a dirt diving board. Look at this. You know? And and I... I uh, like, Tyler, it's... Uh, I'm not a bad person. It, like, it doesn't... It's like you're looking for somebody to beat up on. Why? What did I do? Yeah, what did I do, Tyler? Tyler, what did I do to you to deserve the treatment you've been giving me? Please answer that question. If you can't, then that means you're an incredibly immature and unjust child that just, like, is jealous of me, so you think, uh, so, right, so he, everyone just goes, so he, of course he has some concerns, I know. But actually, it's just jealousy. It's not concerned about anything. Um. So, I mean, you know what? I... I I just want to, I, I, you know what I want to do? I just want to I, I say this, say, speak, speak my piece and then I'll shut up about it. And then I can't wait to see him in person. Tyler, I'm going to roast you. I'm just letting you know, I'm preparing you. All right. I'm not going to surprise you. So let's, I'm preparing you for this, Tyler. I bet you, I'm going to, I bet you, you're going to be brave enough to, uh, to show your face and, uh, make it so you, uh, run into me. I'll make it. I'll make it easy for you, Tyler. I'll be outside. I'll be outside working on my car or doing something or you know I don't know. I'll I'll be Jesus. Jesus will make sure that we run into each other. Okay. So if you're serious about this and you want to make uh, amends and make peace and everything, then yeah, let's do it, Tyler. And and I'll I'll be fair. I'll give you a chance, Tyler. Here's what I'm gonna say. Let me give you a ch let me give you a chance to do the right thing, the manly thing, the strong thing to do here's the strong thing to do the manly thing to do tyler this might this i mean i don't mean to be rude tyler but this is gonna scare you because this is a world you don't understand what i'm asking you to do it's gonna take a lot for you to do this but someone like me who's had a lot of practice doing this stuff it's it wouldn't be it's not gonna be as hard but you don't have a lot of practice with this the the art of apologizing when you've done something wrong you are not going to be able to do that. But I will give you a chance to do the right thing. So before I roast you, yeah, no, you know what? I'm going to help out Tyler even more. I'm just thinking about this. Assuming that he's going to have the strength and the bravery to just out of the blue come over to my house and apologize for the way he's treated me. Assuming that, that's, that's, everyone's going, uh, yeah, Jeff, good luck. You're going to be waiting a while. I know that. So, Tyler, here's the thing. I'm going to help you out. We're going to help Tyler out even more, guys. Even, even more than he deserves, okay? Quite a bit more, actually. Uh, Tyler, so here's the thing. Next time I see you, here's, here's what, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to say, hey, Tyler, what's going on? And you're going to say, hey, Jeff, and you're going to put on that fake smile and the smirk and everything's going to be there, the whole package. <laughs> and and uh, 
Yeah, so, so yeah, as, of course, standard issue interaction with, with the Tyler, of course. Fake, fake smile and smirking and everything. Arrogance, uh, smugness, all, all there, all there. Uh, so I'll, I'm going to be like, Tyler, um, do you have anything to say to me? Like, do you have anything, you know, do you, do you have anything to apologize for or anything? Like, if we weren't doing anything behind my back, right? We're not working with people, uh, right? We're not working with anybody. We're not working with landlords. We're not, we're not doing any of that, right? Tyler, to mess with me, we're, n we're not, right? Okay. Okay, because we, if we are, I think we uh, owe someone an apology, and it's my oven, okay? You've you've been far too abusive to it. The poor thing is from the 90s. It, it can barely it's bar it can barely turn on. It, can, it can't even regulate the temperature, guys. The stupid tungsten just maxes out, so you just burn everything. You try to go, whatever. Once you're done apologizing to my oven, I want you to apologize to me. Okay? You put that tungsten coil through a lot this summer okay uh, okay just putting it on when there's no when there's nothing in there it's just cooking itself tyler the tungsten material is gonna melt okay yes uh it has a melting point it's just really high tyler okay tungsten does melt it just takes a longer time okay and in higher temperature T tyler when there's nothing in there it's gonna happen sooner thank you for you know, not even you know what I mean, Raphael. You you should be mad at Tyler for more wear and tear on the on your. I, I, I know Tyler's like you know what, Raphael. I I do owe you an apology. Thank you. All right, so apologize to Raphael first for the oven, and then come on over to me. All right, but I will help you out, Tyler, because it's going to be hard for you to do this. I mean, I uh I I I will. I'll try, I'll try to give him uh, uh, some training wheels, guys, like a leg up. I'll be like, Tyler, so do we have anything to say to me or no? He, I, But I already know Tyler. I already know. I already know him, right? Because I'm prepping him for this, right? Um, uh, right, Tyler, by listening to me, you're gathering information. We, they love this, guys. They love gathering information, guys. These guys. Tyler, you really need a hobby, Okay. <laughs> Because gathering information about people is not, like, that's not a, it's not, we're, that's just not, like, Tyler, Thanksgiving is coming up, right? You're going to have to sit at that table with your family, and you're going to have to tell them what you do. Like, I, how was your year, Tyler? How was, how was your year being a project manager? Well, I had a lot of concerns. I, uh. I I I did a lot I did a lot of budgets. I filled out Jira. I it tracked down developers, and I basically I you know told their boss that they're lacking. And it's like, oh well, Tyler. I mean, I'm sure they love you over there, especially in Silicon Valley. I'm sure they love you. Uh, but look, Tyler, that d doesn't sound like you're doing much. Tyler, let's let's give your family something to be proud of. You know what I mean? Like, if at least, if you're going to work at a search engine, at least go work at Bing. I would say go work at Google, but you can't because you don't know algorithms. Like, they, you guys, you, they, you, Google makes the uh, the project managers do algorithms, too. They're so they're very strict. It's very weird. Uh, but, so, Tyler, you can't work at Google, but you can work at Bing. Okay? Because I don't think they, they probably require algorithms, too, huh? Okay. Okay. So yeah, just stay at Ask Jeeves. Never mind. But the but the point is, is maybe they 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 can give you something to do. Like ask them, ask them. Um, you know, hey uh, developers, uh, show me what you're working on. Not because you're trying to gather information, uh, Tyler, because you're trying to get them fired or something. But in a genuine concern or a genuine interest in what they're working on. And I'm going swimming. Okay. All right. So, anyways. <laughs> guys, am I being too mean to Tyler? I th nah, probably not. Nah, but he's not. Leah's as long as Leah's laughing, I think it's okay. Which which she is. Okay, good. All right. So, all right. And Leah, hey, let me just say this, Leah, real quick. The only thing I gave Leah about a hard time for is the fact that she works at Neuralink, and I was like, I was like, Leah, like, so how's the testing going? She's like, oh, we're 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 testing it on paraplegics i'm like wait a minute For, first like that's the first group 
Like, yeah, paraplegics. Okay, yeah, I know, but... Leah, they have enough problems. Like, they, they, they don't have legs, and now you're, we're doing some experimental brain chip? Like, the... There's no need. We you can test on prisoners just like that we do. You know what I mean? Like, let's just test on convicts, okay? Why do we need to ruin paraplegics? Like, they already don't have legs, Leah. Like, it's not her fault. She's not. But all right, who do I talk to about this? Uh, who? Uh, uh Elon Musk. Elon Musk. Okay, Le Elon Musk. Can we? Test on uh, adults. How about we test on Tyler? Let's test on Tyler first. I think he'll he would he would volunteer that. But the problem is is he would yeah he would turn into the Terminator. Can you imagine? He would actually turn into the Terminator. So yeah. So never mind. <laughs> never mind. Uh, but we should honestly. I what I what I would say. Here's the thing. Uh. Tyler, in all honesty, I have sympathy for you because this is coming from somewhere. It's a, it's a, uh, you're, you're, you, there's no concerns about me. You don't have any concerns. You don't, of course not. But you, it, yeah, it's an insecurity. Of course it is. But Tyler, look, you're, you're talking to somebody who's, who couldn't be any more insecure. I, me, all right? So, but I can get through the day without, you know, gathering information about others and gossiping and working behind people's back. And you know what I mean? Like, I can do that. Why? But why can't you? Y you know what I'm saying? And I guess my question to you is, was it a fruitful endeavor? Yes or no? <laughs> His answer was, well, I don't know, Jeff, we haven't destroyed you yet. Uh, are you guys, you got everyone just face palming. I face palm across it. Hey, Tyler, the entire planet just face palmed. I know. I know. I, I know. Tyler, look, uh, does somebody want to tell him? I did, who, do I say something or somebody else? No, we'll tell. Okay, you guys will tell. Okay, somebody tell Tyler what's going on here because I don't think he, the, hey, Tyler, I, this is why, guys, I don't like fiction. I don't like, like shows and stuff because. They, I, I've said this before. You guys genuinely believe this is Game of Thrones, and it's up to you to destroy me. It's like, um, no, I'm just trying to play a kids' game and then make people laugh, like, and, and bring people to heaven. And I mean, the fact that Jesus is giving me some like special privileges here, as far as like, uh, you know, reach and uh, you know, my audience, like, that's not my fault. This what the whole thing was an accident, Tyler. Am I? I mean, right? This whole thing happened by accident. I did not intend for this to happen. So my question to you is, how do you not, I think, what, what, at what point do I need, why do I need to be destroyed? Because it, it's a, it was an accident. I didn't mean for any of this to occur, but I need to be destroyed. Tyler, why? I mean, if I need, if you have concerns, why don't you talk to me about your concerns? Like, yeah, that's the best part about Tyler is, he has all these concerns, yet he can't bring them to the person he has concerns about. He's the most embarrassed about this. I know. I know. <laughs> I know. <laughs> I know. See, G this is what I mean. Tyler, you are the weakest of the weak. You don't know what, like, hard work is. You don't understand it. You, you think you're too smart to work hard. What is that? What is that? It's pride. Yeah, it's it's pride. What, Tyler, you're in good company, especially out here. But, uh, I mean, I, what is that? I guess that's the question. It's Is it unique? No, it is not. It, unique to Tyler, it is not. But let's do some investigating as to why this is acceptable what is going on out there we don't know uh i know i know all right am i being unmerciful at this point yeah yeah no nah, i'm just getting exhausted I, I don't like doing this guys did i, did I tell you that i've told you this I, I just this it doesn't bring me any joy i just what it is it's like this it's like this conviction where it's like I'm annoyed about something, and until I talk about it on my on a Minecraft stream, I'm I, I get I'm bothered by it. So uh, you know what, I, I Tyler, I was gonna say you're cool and just move on, but you're not. So uh, I don't know what to do. I think I'm just gonna move on anyway. But anyway, Tyler. So look, 
I'm, I'm going to seriously give you a chance. I know I'm being sarcastic, but I'm going to honestly give you a, an honest to goodness chance next time I see you. And I'm going to see if you're strong enough to get, tell me the truth. Okay. Now, guys, you know, me doing this, right? Saying what I'm going to do to Tyler. You see, he thinks that he thinks <laughs> I know these people, I know, I know, I know. But but see, these people think that, um, you, you know, like, oh, Jeff uh, made a mistake. He, he made a mistake by telling me what he was going to do. Now I'm going to prepare. It's like, hey, Tyler, I I know Leah, Leah's face palming right now because Leah knows how Tyler thinks. It's just that. It's, it's all, uh, everything is a fight for power, Tyler. Do you want to do... Tyler, <laughs> Leah, watch this. Leah, watch this. This is going to be great. Tyler, you want power, huh? You think I have it? Okay, great. Tyler, you know <laughs> you know what I'm going to do? Tyler, I'm going to drop off my iMac at your house, uh, down there. I'm going to drop it off and give you the microphone, and I'm going to give you all my record... I'll even drop off the drum set. I mean, I'm going to be moving out of here soon, so you, you know... So Tyler, you I'll I'll tell you what. You take the mic, you start up a podcast, you do some more kid game streaming just like I am and let me know how people react to it. Let me know how people receive you. Let me know, let me know how that goes. And I I'll gladly give you the power. He wants power, guys. He wants to take the, he wants to destroy me so he can do this. Uh, guys, did my, I, I just realized this right now. I think my dreams just came true. I'm done. All I have to do is bring my iMac down to Tyler's house and give it to him. And I'm not joking. I might just do that. <laughs> that would end everything, guys. <laughs> that one... I I mean that's brilliant. It is. It is brilliant, isn't it? Oh boy, the guy would kill me. I know. Uh Tyler, how many knives do you how big are the knives at your house? I get Leah. Leah's gonna hide them for me because this is gonna be too good. Me dropping off all of my equipment at Tyler's house and uh he I mean he wants power, right? He wants this. It's okay. Okay. <laughs> Be my guest, Tyler. You just made my day, to be real honest with you. Okay, so we'll we'll work with that. So, Tyler, next time I see you again, uh, I'll be giving you the iMac. I'll be giving you the microphone. I'll show you how to use GarageBand, and I'll teach you how to play. I'll, I'll teach you some rudimentary stuff on the drums, Tyler. Rudimentary, all right? And then you can take it from there. All right? And... But, but, you know, I'll set you up, Tyler. I'm not going to leave you high and dry. Okay, we'll do a knowledge transfer. Project managers love that, too. Knowledge transfers. Tyler, we'll do a knowledge transfer, okay? And, uh, yeah, we'll see how you do. But you got to pray a lot, Tyler, or else the devil's going to take you over and uh, you're going to become the Antichrist. Uh, you don't want that. Trust me. All right? I worry about it every day, okay? So, uh, but Tyler, we, uh... Really got to worry about you because uh, you don't believe in Jesus. <laughs> so, uh oh. All right. So, okay. Well, all right. So, Tyler, uh, let's be nice. All right. Because we, we know the answer to this. He's not going to be able to do it. He's going to humiliate himself. All right. So, so let's be merciful. All right. So, Tyler, with, with that just said, do you still want to do this? <laughs> like, do you still really want to destroy me? Because you're going to be disappointing a lot of people if you destroy me. You know what I'm saying? And people are if like, what do you think? They're going to be happy with you doing a radio show? He, all he would talk about is how concerned he is with other people. Like, that's all the content would be, his concerns. Like, that's that would be the name of the show. Tyler is Concerned, a podcast by Tyler. <laughs> Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Sorry, I'm sorry. I know I'm being so mean. I see. I can't because I don't know if Tyler's gonna make it. It's like, am I mocking the damned or not? Ah, who knows? I don't know. 
Why, why is there floating objects in Minecraft, guys? Can we please get a hold of this, Microsoft? You think you spy on us and there's floating blocks that shouldn't exist? What's up? What's up, Microsoft? Can we please... Can we just... Guys, can we just go back to Windows XP? Alright, Tyler. Or, Tyler, can we do this? We need a project manager. A ASAP. <laughs> just, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. If the guy's next door. I mean, I don't know. Is he... Can you imagine if he actually was? Uh, Alright, but Tyler, honestly. Uh, in all honesty, that's the plan. So I will talk to you. And I'm serious. Like, you think I'm joking for the show? Oh, I'm not. No, I'm not. I don't want to do this anymore. Jesus, is this really how this is going to end? I just give Tyler all my stuff? Yup. I just go drop it off at his house? All my processors, all the audio equipment, everything. That's it. That's the end of this. That's all I do. And it stays there. And I go off and do amazing stuff. That's what I do. I bring my iMac down there. I'm, I'm keeping the drum set, Tyler. But I'm bringing the... Oh, this is so... Sorry about the... Uh, I almost said F there. Sorry, but, but I was going to say it was so flipping awesome. Uh, no, this is the best, actually. This is uh, this actually couldn't get any... But guys, everyone's, everyone has this in, immense feeling of justice right now. Me too. All I have to do to end this entire thing is bring my iMac to Tyler's front door and leave it there. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> so, Tyler, uh, good luck. Oh, man. All right. <laughs> Jesus, I, I I was like Jesus. How I was like I'm in a really bad mood right now. How is this gonna work? And Jesus came around. Wow, did he? Wow, did he? This is awesome. Okay, okay. So guys, yeah. So that's the plan. That's actually what I'm gonna do. That's guys. That's that's like ninja status. That's epic. I know you guys are proud of me. Me too. I'm proud of me. Jesus. I mean, Jesus came up with this one. Wow. Tyler wants that he wants this that bad. Oh boy, does he not understand this at all? He doesn't understand the Oh my goodness. Tyler, I've been dying to find somebody who wants to do this instead of me. And Tyler's the guy. <laughs> okay. Tyler, right? You we can do this? You can do what I'm doing. Uh and Tyler, I'll tell you what. I'll give you my pin. No, don't even do that. Don't even do that. No. I will... I'll erase the Mac. I'll erase the iMac, Tyler. The second that I upload this Minecraft episode, I will erase all the content on this, on this computer. All right? I will make it a fresh computer, and I will bring it down to your house, and I will put it on your doorstep. And I will pray and wait for you to come home. <laughs> uh, it's like, Jeff, you're going to have to, you guys are so funny. You guys, you're like, Jeff, you're going to have to show him how to use iMovie too. Cause he's a project manager. He doesn't know anything. I know. All right. So Tyler, I'll show you everything. Because I, I just learned how to use iMovie, too. It's a little tricky. It is. It's kind of complicated. It, it, not complicated. It's just confusing. I don't know. Like, Apple made it so simple. Is that They made it hard. <laughs> this is the thing with Apple. All right. So, uh, okay, Tyler. So, is that... That's a plan, huh? He's not answering, guys. <laughs> he doesn't have an answer. Tyler, is this a plan? Okay, he doesn't... No response. Okay, well, that's probably no, no surprise. But he'll, he'll warm up to it. Okay, and Tyler, don't forget about the cold showers, okay? You, you, uh, you're you not going to get away with this scot-free, okay? You gotta, in order to, to be good at talking on this on these uh, podcasts, you got to take cold showers. It's the only way. Okay? Five, per, five or six per day. Tyler, can we do that every couple hours or yes or no? Or nah, or yes or no. Okay, but we have to. 
if we're going to be doing the podcast, though. It's so... Uh, if we're going to be doing this job, you know what I mean? So, yeah, not just the pod. I do many other things other than the podcast, Tyler. So, so yeah, you're going to you're gonna need uh, cold showers. Also, you're going to need to uh, wet sand your your uh, your Tesla. So you wet sand it. I'll, I'll, I'll give you my... Oh, shoot, Tyler. I'll give you my uh, sanding paper. Yeah, I got a bunch of it. 1,500 grit, 2,000 grit. I'll give that to you, too. Um, all my uh, polishing... Uh, 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 compounds, all the uh, the compound itself. I'll Tyler, I'll even give you the uh, dual action polisher. Okay. So Tyler, uh, see now Tyler is like, oh yeah, nice. Now I'm getting free stuff. I get to sell it. Uh, well, Tyler, if you do that, you're you're getting. I mean, this, these are God's gifts here. You, you, I mean, you're the one that wants to be in charge, right? So why are you selling anything? All right. So you keep the stuff and you poly, you wet sand and polish that car, Tyler. It's the only way. It's the only way. Oh, and when you wet sand and polish your car, you're gonna have to take cold showers, whether you want to or not, every couple hours, for days at a time. Okay. Tyler, as I, I mean, again, Tyler, what are we thinking there? Why am I just pacing back and forth on the stupid dirt bridge that's wildly unsafe? There's no supports here, guys. It's dirt. This shouldn't be working at all. Okay, whatever. Uh. <laughs> anyways, Tyler, so also, he's also a pro, right? He doesn't know anything about Minecraft. I'll have to teach him everything. All right, so fine. Tyler, I'll, I'll show you how to turn knobs. I Look. I'll leave every I'm not I'm not giving you my audio processors or my drum set, but I'm giving you the iMac and then my polishing equipment. Okay? Tyler, and I'm keeping all my acoustic paneling. All right, Tyler, so that's what we're gonna do. Oh, I was just told to keep the keep the iMac, but then give Tyler all the po like Tyler, let's just do one thing at a time. All right, I'm going to keep the iMac, okay, because I need it to do my podcast. Or wait, no, I'm not going to do this anymore, but I do need it to record music. But I, uh, but also, I don't have Logic Pro anymore, so I guess having a computer is kind of useless, huh? Yeah, and I'm not going to be coding anything ever again, so, I mean, I guess, yeah, having a computer is kind of... I guess I don't really need it anyway. Plus, Tyler wants to take over, so might as well give him the best head start I possibly can, right? Tyler, I'm being a good friend. <laughs> and I'm going to train you again. Knowledge transfers. We Project managers love knowledge transfers. They love them. All right, and I'll, I'll, I'll give you that, and uh, we'll be on track, Tyler. And, and don't think I'm just going to, you know... <laughs> I'm just gonna, you know, it t train you and then run away. Okay, I'm not you. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna train you, Tyler, and then I'm here for questions. I'll be available. Okay, I won't be, you know, I won't be reachable necessarily. But if you want to come knock on the door, you know, because I won't have a cell phone or an email or a computer at all. But uh, Tyler, if you want to come knock on the door, well, I mean that, I'll uh, be more than happy to. Uh, to help you out if you have any questions with any of this stuff you know like how long the episode should be or if you have to kneel down while you're doing the rosary or you know how long you know like like you know like how jeff i'm taking a cold shower how long do i have to stay in there well jesus i think the maximum time he he had me stay in there for like an hour and a half at one point in the cold water over the summer so tyler can you do that or like we'll we'll, we'll work you up to that though all right, so you gotta stay under the cold water for like uh, an hour and a half, Tyler. Can we can we do that? Or I mean, the co the water here is pretty cold, isn't it? Yeah. So I mean, an hour and a half. Like I mean, you'll be shivering. I was shivering. It was it was freezing. After an hour and a half, you're freezing. So Tyler. Uh, well, but like it's gonna be tough for you, but we'll work you up to it. Okay. 
And uh, look at this cow. Look at that cow, man. <laughs> Defying all physics, laws of physics out the window. Cows just ascend on a on a on a vertical position, just no problems. All right, whatever, cows. No inertia, nothing. All right, whatever. All right, look. Uh guys. All right. Am I being I I think it's you know what this is? This is just sort of like it's sort of like it's it's a uh it's the Dunning Kruger effect. My my dad has this. Tyler has this. Um Uh, no, Pete does not have this. But my dad does. Tyler does. Yeah, P Tyler and my dad are two very similar people. Because they, the wor they're the worst people because they think they're spiritually evolved. But at least my dad does work, though. Like, at least my dad is very competent. Tyler isn't even competent. So, my dad does have a reason to have some... You know, I know we shouldn't be talking about him given his conduct, but if there is a compliment out there for my dad, it's that he is a very hard worker to a fault. I mean, and at great expense to his family, and, and right? But he is a hard worker, but that's not good enough to get you to heaven. See, Tyler isn't even a hard worker. He doesn't do anything. He doesn't know how to do anything. Tyler, do you know how to change a tire? And, and I'm being honest with you. Right, a Tesla. I was gonna say, do you know how to change an oil? Uh, no, Jeff. I have a Tesla. Tyler, I'm gonna slap you. Do you. Okay, so do you know how to change a tire? Uh, the answer is is uh, n no. He's never done it, but he could figure it out. He says, Tyler, I guarantee you, you wouldn't be able to figure it out. You wouldn't know where the mounting point was. You wouldn't know anything. You wouldn't know. You would crush this the this the the rocker panel. You would do something, causing damage to your stupid Tesla. Why would you get a Model Y? Why would you get a Model Y? The thing looks like a Model T. Like, oddly enough, it looks like a Model T, and it's called Model Y. I thought, I thought we were in the future, Elon. All right, whatever. All right, look, the point is, it was the worst one to get, but you got it anyway, Tyler. I forgive you. But look, the point is, do you know how to change the tire on it, yes or no? The answer is no, but he could figure it out. But you would cause damage, I guarantee it. You would do something. You would scrape the wheel. You wouldn't know. You wouldn't be able to, uh, you know, t turn the torque wrench to, to take the wheel off. You're not. You just don't have it. You don't have it. Not the torque wrench. The 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 the, the lug the, the lug nut wrench. The lug wrench. Who cares? All right. Look, the cheap piece of aluminum they give you in case your car gets a flat tire. That that's that's what I'm trying to say. All right. Look, Tyler. You don't know anything. Okay. You don't. You don't know anything. Yet you think you can do this? You can take this over? I don't believe me. I want you to, but I, I don't. I can't do that because it would destroy the project. It's nothing personal, but I have concerns. Okay, I have concerns about you taking over. So, so um, I, I was going to give you my stuff, and I still will because I know you're not going to do it. Uh, but you know, I'm just letting you know that don't like don't even think about it because you, you're going to ruin it. But I'm still going to give you my stuff. Well, I mean, you go ahead and do it. I mean, I'm just, I, as a friend, I'm telling you don't because you're going to embarrass yourself. And people are going to realize how awesome I am. <laughs> okay? I know, I know. Everyone everyone gets mad at me when I say that. But guys, it's true. I'm pretty awesome, right, for doing this? Wow, for taking all those cold showers. You're welcome, guys. Wow. Uh, wow, um, awesome, huh? Yeah, you're welcome, guys. Okay, so anyways. <laughs> I know. <laughs> guys, can you tell? I'm mad. I'm mad at you guys. I'm mad. I'm a little annoyed with you guys. And that's that's when you get that kind of stank out of me. You do. You do. Okay. But but look, okay, Tyler. We he's he's just got to he's got to get roasted for this because his arrogance, man. It's Tyler. I want to see you in heaven, but uh, something tells me you're just you just don't. You're just not compatible with it. You just don't. You're not gonna be able to let go of the pride of. You know, being a project manager for again a uh, a nineteen nineties search engine company, um, you're you're you you can't quite accept the fact that that's not all that important. And in this world, Tyler, this new world Jesus is uh, building for us, 
that's the first thing we got to do is recognize that what we're doing is probably not that important, especially if Jesus is having me give you my iMac, my only computer. My only computer is my iMac. I'm on it as we speak. In but Jesus is going to give me, have me give it to Tyler to uh, shut him up, <laughs> basically. Uh, again, land in four inches of water and we're safe. This is uh, wildly, wildly realistic. Anyways, uh, okay, so no damage. No, <laughs> okay. But anyway, Tyler, so seriously, look. All right, let me get real on you for a second, all right? This is a tremendous responsibility, what I have here. Okay? It seems like I'm just goofing around, like playing Minecraft, making jokes. But actually, it takes a lot of calculation, a lot of skill, a lot of time, a lot of effort. All right? I make it look effortless because I put so much thought into it. So, of course, you go, oh, it looks easy. I could do that. No, you couldn't. I'm in a million years. Ty Leah, could Tyler do this? Hell no, she's saying. Hell no. E exactly. And then not a lot of people could. I'm not saying that to brag. I'm saying that to to make you guys understand that like nobody wants to do this. Don't don't think that you want to do this. Have this job. It stinks. It's it's it, guys. I was taking forced cold showers all day again today. I was like, Jesus, are you serious? And the answer is is yes, but that's it. It was just so I could come on and talk to Tyler. So we couldn't say a single freaking word when I when I drop off my iMac <laughs> when, as how. Uh, and Tyler, it has a cracked screen, so don't get too excited about it. All right, it, it, okay. So Jesus is mad at Apple. It turns out. Uh, so enjoy this piece of garbage, and uh, you know what? I don't care. All right, all right. I'm done. I'm done. Oh, guys, I'm playing a children's game, and we're not even supposed to play computers. All right, we're done with games. I'm done. All right, who cares? Okay, Apple. All right, yes, yeah, very beautiful. Okay, waterfalls. Okay, but guys, it's a kids game. It's all digital. It's not real. Okay, cows float and they just, they, they don't even walk. The, the speed that they walk doesn't match the animation of the legs. Guys, this game's a disaster. Okay, it's not. It's awesome. I'm just kidding. The cow that, who, what, what cows scale mountains like that? What is it? What is it? One of those, uh, what are those goats? What are the what are the goats guys that like they have these like feet they can like hook into the not hook but they have some crazy grip on it the ibex yeah the ibex that animal and see the cow is being doing its, its best impression of an ibex look at that it's unreal again spinning on a fixed position with the legs hanging off one, one of the sides guys no inertia no mass no nothing it's not interacting with gravity at all look at that look at that cow it's unbelievable. Guys, wait, what the heck was that? Why did I get hurt falling a, a foot? Why did... Okay, guys, it's time, to, it's time to quit this game. I mean, I'm looking at the floating dirt. I mean, this bridge that's supported by nothing, uh, and it's just made out of dirt, yet it's still, like, structurally perfect. Perfectly rigid and uh, perfectly square and uh, unreal. And it can support infinite weight. Like, guys, I could build an entire skyscraper on top of this one dirt bridge, and it would hold it up. I mean, yeah, that's how you you can, Jeff. That's exactly how Minecraft works. I know, guys. That's We can't do this stuff anymore. It's time to go. It's time to call it quits with Minecraft. We're looking at square clouds that, again, don't exist. It looks like we're trying to play Tetris. Enough. Enough with this game. Okay, boy, is it fun. But you know what? Let's how about we do this? Let's go. Let let's go raise real cows. Let's go hang out with real pigs. Guys, cows are adorable. Pigs are adorable. They come and see you. Guys, I'm telling you, having a farm is like it's like having a million pets. It's like awesome. And and I'm I'm telling you, I'm doing that. Okay? I'm gonna get as far away from computers as possible. I'm I'm gonna mainly thank Tyler for this. Because he's going to take this thing off my hands. And, uh, yeah, Tyler, I was going to, like, give you my microphone and stuff. No, no, no. You're going to have to get your own microphone. But uh, you, I'll give you the iMac, so that, that'll get, get you started. Uh, and then let me know when you start a podcast, you know, when you want some, like, pointers. And I'll, I'll, I'll you know, I'll kind of help you out. I'll, I'll write for you, Tyler. Tyler's going to need a writer. He's, he can't come up with any of this stuff on his own. So I'll do it. 
I'll I'll help you out, Tyler. I'll kind of give you a head start. I know, I'm, I'm being, guys, I'm being so mean, but I'm so mad at him. So just look. I know, because it's kind of gets cringy when I keep doing this. But like, look, the guy's with the devil. I got to kind of, you know, you got to kind of like with Rafaela. Like, did I kind of windmill dunk a few too many times over her? Yes, I did, guys. But but she's evil and she's irrational and she does things without thinking and she just listens to the devil. And OK, but Tyler spends more time thinking and like so. This it has to be brutal, and it's gonna be for him, okay. He doesn't. He doesn't think I'm gonna do this. Oh yes, I will. That this iMac is Tyler's. Enjoy the cracked screen, and and it, the fact that we're gonna there's gonna be a solar flare. I very shortly, and this thing's gonna be rendered uh, obsolete anyway, or something. Jesus is gonna do something. Tyler, enjoy your latest paperweight. I'm about to go drop it off at your house. Okay? Um. And Leah, we're going to be smoking weed together because Leah's awesome. All right, Leah, we'll, we'll, yeah, Leah's saying we're, just take the couches. Leah, thank you. Leah, thank you. Leah's going to give me the couches, Tyler. That's what you should have done. Wow, Jeff, thanks for doing everything. Uh, let me not charge you 200 bucks. Here's a couch. <laughs> is, is, how entitled am, am I? I, I? I am. I'm pretty entitled. But also, like, I did a, this took a lot. And if Tyler can't do this, which he won't, he won't be able to, obviously. But he'll, he'll appreciate uh, how much work that went into this. You're welcome. You're welcome, everybody. Okay? All right, the, the, the cow appreciates it. The one one's trying to scale up the mountain like an Ibex, he appreciates it. Okay? Do physics apply to him? No, but he appreciates it. Okay? Alright, guys. So, you're welcome. And thanks G to Jesus, first of all, for for dying for no reason. Like, I died. I got crucified for this, like, in, in a very slow, methodical way right there. Uh, Tyler, thank you for participating. Thank you. Uh, and, uh, well, you know, he did it for, like, Jesus did it for nothing. I did it knowing that eventually this day was going to come. Right? So, you know, because my great-grandmother told me I was going to have an amazing life. So I'm like, all right, well, I'm still at trip action. So this is definitely not the amazing life you were talking about, great-grandmother. Okay, so good. So no, I'm, I'm okay, good. So my amazing life has nothing to do with trip action. I really, I was like, confused. I'm like... Wait, so great grammar, you're going to have me work at uh, a trip actions and it's supposed to be an amazing life? Like, and it just got silent. No answer to that one. Now I see why. <laughs> okay. So, uh, um, and <laughs> it's so, it's awesome. This whole thing is awesome, huh? I know. And so anyways, all right, all right, all right. Jesus, thank you. Because Jesus had me take a cold shower so I'd be able to do this roast Tyler. This is nice. This just feels good. It does. It does feel good because the guy, the guy's a pain and he's just, he needed, Tyler needs a, he, he needs like a, like a, everyone's saying, Tyler needs a spanking. He does. He needs a spanking. Like, like where were his parents? Let me talk to his parents. Tyler's parents. Did you ever punish him for anything? I probably not, right? You just, you just lauded him as like, oh, so he's so smart. Son, one day you'll be working at a 90s search engine company just like your old man. Like, you're like Tyler was supposed to be the golden child. Like, it's supposed to... <laughs> yeah, he's going to carry on the family tradition of working at a has-been search engine company. It's going to... These guys, are, have we been mean enough to Tyler? Well, no, but we're making it more and more likely that he's going to put razor blades if I try to go trick-or-treating at the end of the month. I know. And the candy that he gives me. I know. I, I know. Uh, okay. I know. Enough with that joke. I, I use it all the time. I use it all the time. But Cy, I just want to say Cy real quick just as a uh, a sign-off here. Cy, I want to say sorry for being mean. I, I love Cy. She's just a girl. And so is Leslie. And the truth is, I'm probably attracted to both of them. And, and they were attracted to me, too. And that's why everything happened the way it did. Turns out, when girls like you, they're mean to you. Which explains Raffaella and everything. Because if they weren't, if they didn't like you, if they weren't attracted to you, women don't give you the time of day. 
Like, like how, how, how much effort do you think, like Raphael, how much effort would you have put into messing with Tyler? If, if he was in my position, uh, we're, we're here in a zero. Uh, also I shouldn't glorify Raphael. Oh, it's right. Yeah. She molests children. Okay. Sorry. Uh, uh, Leslie, Leslie, Le sorry, that was a close one. Leslie, uh, well, how much effort would you have put into working, messing with Tyler if he worked at Trip Actions? Uh, we're here in a zero. Big fat zero. Big fat zero. Okay. Ouch. <laughs> okay. Uh, so anyways, uh, Tyler, there's your answer. So even if you did get a podcast and, you know, we even Leah's is going, ouch. Yeah, I know. I know. I know. This is tough, right? I bet I have to do it, Leah, because otherwise this kid's going to be a pain my entire life. So we got to do this. We got to shut him up. All right. So here's the thing. I know, of course, I say that now, but Tyler, the, the you're not going to be able to. You're, no one's going to take you seriously, buddy. Like it, you're you're only powerful. Like Ty, like guys, Tyler does, himself doesn't know how to do anything, but uh, he can find people to do it, right, Tyler? Because there, I have plenty of enemies, right? So Tyler, but the problem is, is nobody respects Tyler because he doesn't do anything. So not even the evil people like Tyler. Like Tyler's just like a, a nonsense. Like he just doesn't do anything. So I don't know what to do. So Tyler, but I'll help you out. I'll give you the bicycle for the mind. Okay, this iMac bicycle for the mind. It'll right. It'll make it so that you're a you're a an a. a, a a condor with a computer okay right because that evidently that is the most efficient animal all right so tyler we'll turn you into a condor when it comes to this show all right we'll we'll, we'll set y'all up all right enough okay i'm done okay i'm done guys no more computers i'm done it's not gonna be some it's I, honestly here's what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do what i wanted to do in real life a, a little while ago and i'm just gonna jump off this bridge okay just do it and then this is how we're gonna end this whole thing by me jumping off of a virtual bridge in a game made for children. Okay? Here we go. All right, guys. Three, two, one. Tyler, I'm going to do this. and I'm, I'm telling you, I'm dropping off this iMac over to your house. Okay? And then we're done. I'm done with this whole freaking thing. We're done. All right? You, you and your stupid dog, Lily. She's, she's adorable, but she doesn't like me. And it's probably because she's listening to your horse ass all day. All right, whatever. Sorry. Ugh. All right. Here we go, guys. This is so stupid. What am I doing? What is this like Thelma and Louise? Like, okay, I'm not gonna do that. What a bad, what a bad, what a bad uh you know, like I'm supposed to be the <laughs> supposed to be the beacon of hope and positivity. I'm trying to simulate a suicide. Uh maybe not the best idea. Okay, let's not do that. All right, let's just shut it down and just all right. Here's what we will do. All right, let me, let's jump down. I, I got it. I got it. We'll, we'll make it fun instead of jumping off a bridge. Uh, let's jump down a waterfall. How about that? All right, well, then we'll make it a thing and then it'll be really stupid. And then, no, it won't be stupid. It'll be cool. All right, hold on. Yeah, Minecraft is awesome. I'm going to miss it, but not that much because you know what? I gotta, we gotta get outside, guys. We gotta, I gotta practice drums. I gotta get in a band. I gotta figure out how to get a recording studio. Cause my great grandmother said that my recording studio is gonna be the most magnificent one the world has ever seen. So I gotta get going on that, guys. All right. I can't be playing Minecraft all day if I have to get a magnificent recording studio off the ground. You know what I mean, guys? All right. Everyone knows what I'm talking about. All right. Let's just cut it. Let's just, you know what? Guys, I gotta get to bed. You know what? I'm done with this. I'm done with the podcast. I'm done being Mr. Snark. Uh, but by the way, guys, like, don't think because I'm throwing, I'm giving my Tyler my computer. Don't think, don't think that because I'm giving him this computer that uh, the podcast is over. I mean, the podcast will be, but I'm gonna get a radio show, guys. I'm gonna be given a radio show, terrestrial, like with an FM transmitter and stuff. Even if I have to do it, I'll do it. Like I'm no, I, I, guys. You can get a 2,000 watt FM transmitter. I was looking at them. It has like a 40 mile radius. For an FM transmitter. It would just it would just work in everyone's car. I could just run it out of this house. The FCC would have will have no idea where it's coming from. I mean, I guess they could try. They could like figure it out, like where the signal strength is. I, I guess. I guess. But I mean. 
the police. You, you guys like me enough, right? You're not going to enforce that garbage. Just let me have my own guerrilla radio. Just, just like Rage Against the Machines talking about. All right, I'm not going to play any copyrighted music. I'm just going to uh, be. It'll just be me and my my uh, my my nasally voice. Okay, my annoying voice, which everyone says that my voice is annoying in person, but on on microphone it sounds good. Well, guys, thank you for that double sided, you know, the double edged sword of a compliment. Thank you so much, guys. Again, we love people out there, but look, um. Yeah, it's, it's only because of all the processing. I mean, like, I, you know, I, I have to, it's kind of like makeup for a guy is my audio processors. I was thinking about this, like, wow, I'm insecure. That's why I need, you know, $10,000 worth of audio processors. Yeah, I'm pretty insecure. Wow. Uh, and, uh, but it, it does sound good. It sounds good. So, you know what, guys, let's just jump down this waterfall and then let's, uh, let's put an end to this. But also the beginning, like it's the end of this garbage, but it's the beginning of new, I was going to say new garbage. No, but it's actually not garbage. It's actually awesome. I mean, garbage in the most endearing way possible. Let's get to the top, guys. If we're not, what if stop it halfway down? Even if, even if guys I have to punch every single rock to get all the way up there, which you know what? Now let's do it. Cause I, we got time guys. We got all the time in the world. All right. I have all night to bring this iMac over to Tyler's and, uh, well, first of all, we have to bounce down the uh, the video. Um. All right, yeah, you know, guys, I'm not doing this. Just let me let me let me just do this. All right, it'll be a semi, it won't, a, a non, it won't be a suicide attempt. This is a water a water park. Okay, this is a water park ride. Okay, guys, here we go. Whoa, nice. Yeah. Okay, that was okay. Good. There we go. That was like a slide. That was fun. That was fun. Okay. Oh, no way. You can climb up the uh, ivy? Yeah, I didn't know that. Whoa. Is that true? Hold on. Am I stuck? Yeah, I'm stuck. All right. It's time to shut this down. It's Guys, enough. Enough Minecraft. That's enough. All right. We had fun with it, but you know what? Honestly, I'm not. this isn't what Jesus wants me to do at all. Okay? it's It was used for a purpose, but you know what? This isn't me. All right. So we love you guys out there. And the next time you hear me, I'll probably be doing real radio. I mean, that's pretty cool. Uh, that's pretty neat. Yeah, I'm I'm a terrestrial radio kind of guy. I, I really like that. Like, we're, we're going to do it, like, as if it's, like, the 1920s again. Like, you, if I'm on the radio, you, you better be there to listen because I'm not doing it. Like, I can't, I'm not going to be able to re, re, do, like, you know, um, repeats or, you know, like, Howard Stern kind of has like two, he has two channels and one is where it's, he's like, re, you know, replaying the show of that day or something. I'm not going to be able to do that. I don't have the technology. Well, maybe I could, I could get like a cassette recorder or a, oh, a reel to reel. Oh shoot. My great grandmother has a reel to reel machine. Yeah. There we go. Mom and Pat, can we please, it's, it's this reel to reel machine, this audio recorder of my great grandmother. She bought it in the seventies. Those things are rare and they're 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 i mean they don't make them anymore those things are and they sound amazing the reel to reel uh you, you know you guys have seen these it's like two big you know wheels with tape you know uh, getting transferred in between them and it, it kind of you know it writes to it it's, it's like it it you know the recorder but it sounds so much better than digital i know you guys are saying uh i don't know jeff it's a lower quality no guys it's it, you hear it the dynamic range is there i'm telling you doing the conversion between analog and digital digital to analog guys you do that a million times what the heck are you going to be left with i want to see what that sounds like i'm sure they make a video they have a video of like what a doing going in and going in and out of a digital to audio converter and then back out and back in again a million times what, what it would sound like. I mean, it would actually be an audible sort of like representation of what the what the digital converters are doing to, to our, our, our precious audio, my precious audio. I don't like digital converters. I don't like analog. I, it's such a, it's an unnecessary step and it's just a, an opportunity for degradation. I don't like it. All right, so let's just stay, let's just stay in analog world, huh? Okay, which is why I'm gonna quit this game and give Tyler my iMac. All right, and he can he can become a new podcaster, and then you guys can listen to him. Okay, 
look, I'm sure he has a bunch of fans, okay? I'm I'm not I'm not going to say that he doesn't. Of course he does. There's a lot of people that don't like me. I right, so Tyler will have plenty of friends. But I guess the question is 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 he able to do what I'm doing here? He thinks he can. But it's the Dunning-Kruger effect, unfortunately. All right? Because He's looking, what he's looking at is years of hard work and preparation for this without even my, my knowledge. And Tyler thinks that he can just pick it up and do it himself. Tyler, you wouldn't be able to. I don't mean to be rude, but no, no one thinks you can do it, Tyler. Not, not even your friends. Which is a super high compliment, guys. Thank you. But the only compliment I'll get from the evil people is uh, just that. That they don't think Tyler can do this. Well, the guys, thank you. Oh, I know. You didn't want to give me that compliment, but you did, and I appreciate it. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> okay, thank you. But, uh, no, it's... Honestly, in all honesty, I wouldn't wish this on my worst enemy. So, in all honesty, Tyler, I'm going to do the shtick of giving you the iMac just to shut you up, but I wouldn't want you to, to do this. I wouldn't want Jesus to put you through this. I wouldn't want anyone to go through what I went through. Not that it was that bad, but it was just the. Uh, it was just it's exhausting. It was. It was just. It was just. It was just. Uh, it was over the top. Purposely to well get reactions out of you guys, including Tyler. Which is what made it so hard, at times. So. I'm so glad that this is how it ends. Just me giving Tyler my iMac. You know. <laughs> Hey Tyler, you think you can do a better job? Okay, here you go. Here's a here it is. Here's the thing. You know, like it's gonna be great. All right, and and I'll, yeah, right. So I'm gonna give him my polishing stuff too. Yeah, Tyler will uh, he'll appreciate that. No, 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 he won't. <laughs> no, he won't. Uh, so, but anyways, um, that's how it's gonna end. Tyler gets my iMac and all of the polishing stuff and all of the sandpaper. Everything. Okay. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being a part of this. And to all the people who aren't aren't really a fan of me, I mean, I I hear you. I'm not a fan of me either. And uh, but don't. Don't look at me like I don't represent heaven. I'm just a guy like meaning I'm just a person. You're a person. And and, and I'm j I, I, it's not I, I'm not saying you should be like me. I'm saying you should be yourself. I'm saying the only thing you should emulate me with is my dedication to Jesus. And, and that's the only thing I'm recommending that you take from me as far as the lesson goes as far as anything else i'm not telling anyone what to do um i'm just kind of trying to give you the news about what my grandmother would like you to do or my great grandmother would like you to do because we're eventually guys we're going to have to do this do do the kind of the amish thing where women are i mean it doesn't need to be so we're not going that crazy all right we'll have electricity but no more computers. You want to know why? Well, Tyler is basically the poster boy of the reason why we sh don't we shouldn't have computers on our planet. It's because we have somebody as weak as he is, thinking he's as strong as he is, and that's dangerous. It is dangerous because Tyler, look at all the damage he caused because of his uh, lack of self awareness. No offense. I mean, this is serious. I'm giving him a hard time, but this is serious. He, the, the kid's a real... The guy's... I don't want to call him a kid. The, the guy's a real threat because he's dangerous because he thinks he's smarter than I am. That's scary. It is. Dunning-Kruger effect is a real thing, and it's frightening because people are... Uh, they don't think before they do anything. They just think they're smart enough, and then they do something. It's like, oh, shoot. I made a mistake. And uh, Tyler made a mistake, but I don't. I didn't hear an apology yet, Tyler. We gave you a couple days here, and no apology. 
I, I, I wasn't even thinking about it, to be honest with you, but Jesus did. Jesus gave Tyler a couple days to apologize, I'm sure. No apology, Tyler. So, this is what you get. This is your fault. Me having to roast you on this thing. Because you're, like, you, like a coward, Leah. Can you believe it? Like a coward, he, he takes you and then drives away. <laughs> Leah... Can somebody protect Leah? Honestly, get get her out of there. Get get her away from Tyler. I like. I'm being serious because I I love Leah way too much. I, I and I'm worried about her with all this because Tyler's not gonna. He's not. What he's not gonna do is take this. I, I'm worried actually about him being the Antichrist, and and I wouldn't be surprised to be totally honest with you, especially with. I mean, because guys, heads up is. Uh, I don't know when all that's happening. I don't want to say Tyler's the Antichrist. That's going to give him way too much pride. Uh, I know. I don't know who the anti. No, 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 no. Jesus says that we're not there yet. It's not even. Don't it? it Tyler's nothing. He's he's not a threat. He's just annoying. All right, good. Okay. So Tyler, you're, I'm, I'm not joking about this. Everything goes to him, leaving it at, at, at my front door. His front door. Now, me doing this signals to everybody that I am as vulnerable as I could possibly be. And I'm happy to do that. I'm excited to do it. Because that means... I just get to play drums and drive around and, 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 right, I won't be able to record anything, but I'll be able to practice. And that's, that's a good thing. So Tyler, I'm just going to be playing drums. All day. It's going to be great. Okay. All right, everybody, we'll see you on the other side of this. I don't know what's going to be happening, but uh, what I would say is... Hang on tight. Whoa, Jesus just said, hold on tight. That's what he just said. Is that really? Yeah. Yeah. Whoa. Okay, so... Th things are going to change. Rapidly. And this is not this is not a drill this time. Like, I, I know Jesus messes with me all the time, having me think it's going to end. It doesn't. I know he does it out of love, and I... But... It's, it's tough. It is tough. But, but, uh, just, just, uh, prepare, prepare my, Jesus just said, prepare myself. What does that mean? It means more cold showers. That's what it means. Uh, all right, whatever. All right, all right, all right, all right. No, I'm just kidding. I bet you Jesus will let me kind of take a cooler shower. Like, it's just a warm shower. Okay, whatever. No, I don't even want a hot shower. I just want to know that Jesus isn't going to torture me with cold water all the time. That's all I want to know. That's really it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll do it. But it's just, man, it's tough. All right, whatever. We got it, guys. We got it. I'll do it anyway. All right, see ya. All right, guys, we'll see ya. See ya, see ya. Okay? So no more computers. I'm going to miss them. But you know what, guys? It's for the best. And I'll have to get a landline and... uh Jeff, don't be ridiculous. We need these things right now. I know we need to fight fire with fire. I'll I'll be doing thought fine, guys. We'll we'll be doing thought. I didn't spend all that time in thought fine for no reason, all right? But the world is not ready for thought fine right quite yet. Um, but it will be. Or maybe Jesus. I mean, I he Jesus had me delete it. So I mean, like maybe really it, it was just to get Elon, not get Elon, but just to you know take down trip action. It's possible. Um. Because I hear, El I bet you Elon is uh, actually kind of in support of me now. I, I feel like Elon's my friend with this. I appreciate that, Elon. Good, good job turning around, man. And I'm proud of you. And Ariel, you guys too. And I was dead serious when I sent you that email the other day. And you know I was. Of course you, of course you do. Um, and they're thinking about it, but probably not. Probably not. Did you see the lightning bolt when I said probably not? <laughs> okay. <laughs> They don't deserve to work with me. I, yeah, no, I know that. <laughs> so, lightning bolt indicates a no. Okay. Uh, okay, great. So, anyways, guys, we love you out there. And uh, 
Jesus is going to have quite the ride for, for us. But it's going to start with me. All right, so prepare yourselves, guys. Like, Jesus is going to favor me first, okay? So just prepare yourselves. Get ready for that, okay? Don't be jealous because the good stuff is coming for you too. But, you know, you guys didn't step up and do all this. All right, so Jesus is finally going to maybe, you know, give me something that, uh, well, I mean, maybe something, right, where, where I, I was rewarded for, for doing this, right, Elon? And so, I mean, Elon, you got to, you know, you got to realize that, like, this is the part that you were terrified of, me being rewarded for what I did, right? This is the whole reason you invented this whole thing. This plausible deniability force field so that I didn't benefit from doing what I did. Well, now you see how God sees what I did. Like, how, Elon, how would you say, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it's like, the, it could, you couldn't have been any more wrong in trying to uh, isolate me and prevent me from being rewarded for what I did. <laughs> you, you couldn't have been any more wrong. By doing that, Elon. Obviously. You, I mean, let me just talk about all the trip actions people out there. Elon could, based on everything Jesus is having me go through now, Elon could not have been any more wrong for not rewarding me for what I did. Could not be any more wrong. Right, guys? Like, it's like maxed out as to how wrong Elon was. That's what I mean. <laughs> like, ouch. <laughs> okay. So I understand why he didn't respond to the email. We get it. Okay. Okay. Um, all righty. Guys, sorry for this long winded conversation. And I know I was rough on Tyler, but Tyler, you deserved it a thousand percent. And enjoy the iMac. Okay. I love you, buddy. But uh, you know what? You're not a great friend. My goodness, are you not a good friend? You're nice to my face, but behind your back, you're trying to work. You what? Is, what were you? I mean, okay. Wow, this is why I can't wait to not do a podcast anymore. And if I do a radio show, guys, I'm not talking about any of this because Jesus is gonna let enough good stuff happen to me where this won't. This stuff won't even be won't even be on my mind. I'm gonna be on my radio show talking about all the great stuff going on, all the amazing stuff I'm working on, all the great stuff. So Tyler, you're gonna be a distant memory. I don't even care. Like, Tyler's only hope left is that uh, it's going to bother me for a little while. Oh, good. I bothered him. Oh, my goodness, Tyler. This is how these people think, guys. Like, it's worth going to hell just for, like, just, like it's to them, it's worth going to hell for eternity just to put the brakes on something or, or like, for this, right? And to get in my way and to obstruct things and resist the thing. It's worth going to hell for eternity for these people. Tyler, what are you doing? What are you, what are you doing? Tyler's doing something. What is he doing? What, what was his crime? I don't even want to know what Tyler's crime is. It would be too sad, I think. I just, you know what? I think we're done. Just assume that Tyler's probably... I'm not going to say it, but we all probably know what Tyler's doing. Am I wrong? Right. So I, I look, all I know is the people who aren't doing stuff with children um are leaving me alone. <laughs> That's what I know. That's all I know. Uh I Yeah, I I okay. All right, whatever, Tyler. I'm just going to let you you and the police figure this out. And any victims of Tyler or whatever. Oh, who knows, guys? I'm not even going to... My my assumptions are correct. Of course they are. <sighs> Obviously. Leah, break up with this guy as fast as possible. Leah, get out of there. Come on over, hang out with me. Leah, I'll teach you how to play drums. Okay, we'll hang out. I made... I, made, uh, I can make this breakfast plus rice thing, Leah. You're going to love it. All right? Leah, just let me borrow some of your workout equipment, though, okay? Because I gotta, I, I gotta get some abs and stuff, and my, I gotta get some biceps. Otherwise, otherwise, I won't be able to find a wife. Le Leah's gonna help me find a wife. 
Leah would be a really good wing woman. I feel like. Yeah, she would. She, she'd be great at it. All right, Leah, we'll hang out. We'll smoke weed. It'll be great. Okay? We'll swap recipes. Leah, do you bake? If, if Leah bakes, then um, then we're hanging out. Okay? Because Leah will swap recipes. Oh, she knows. It's it, We're in business. We're in business with the kitchen. Also, Leah, can I borrow your oven? Okay. I'll come on over. I'll use your oven. I'll bake banana bread there. I <laughs> mean... Okay. All right, Leah. And I was going to say Tyler, but not Tyler anymore. I don't think I'll ever see him again. <laughs> but uh, the iMac is going, uh, well, I don't know. It's going in the trash. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> My iMac, I'm just going to put it in the trash. Honestly, I, I don't even want to give it to Tyler. Yeah, forget it. It's going in the trash. Tyler, I already know he's not going to be able to do this. But I'll give him my, I'll give, I will give him my polishing stuff. I will do that. The iMac is going in the trash. No one gets it. I'm going to hit the screen with a hammer just to make sure of that. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to destroy this computer. I just feel it. I just feel like it's the right thing to do. And, uh, it'll, uh, it'll bring an end to this whole thing. And man, I can tell you that that will be a beautiful feeling. So guys, I, I won't be able to tell you about it until I get back on the radio. But next time you hear me, I'll probably quickly mention it. And then I'll quickly move on to all the awesome stuff I'm working on. I won't even think about this. Okay. Boy, can I wait for all this to be over? All right, everybody. We'll see you next time. Well, but next time was going to be, I mean, I'm going to be doing real deal stuff next time. So cool. Saving world. Yes, I am. Thank you, Minecraft, for reminding me. I didn't do anything, guys. Jesus did everything. All right. Just kidding. All righty, everybody. I will see you. Thank, say, pray to my great grandmother. Pray to, pray to Jesus. Pray to God. Say thank you to everyone in heaven. I had nothing to do with this. I'm just the... The spokesperson, the puppet on Earth. Okay, I got. If you guys can't see him, but God is like, yeah, I have strings attached to heaven, metaphorical strings. I'm not, guys. I didn't do any of this. All right, all right. Let's get out of here. Done.